Uh huh. I just wanted you to make sure that you do understand the lawsuit. Uh, when they put it in bold print, yes. Uh, it is only law enforcement that is able to actually serve the weapon surrender form. Yes. But you didn't do that. Pooh. <laughs> And um, I'm suing you for serving a form on the respondent. Yes. That the individual had no legal right to serve. <laughs> and then uh, endangering those around me that witnessed it. Yes. <laughs> now, um, just so you understand that the protection order. Yes. See, the clerk of the court shall also forward a copy of this order on before the next judicial day. Yeah to the Clallam County Sheriff's Office. Yes. Or it could have been the city, though I wasn't living in Squim at the time of this court service. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where the respondent lives. Now, they have that in bold print, too. Pooh. I would say that serving me in the Squim Public Library in a location that I don't live because I was living here in Port Angeles. Yeah. Uh, does actually violate uh, where a respondent lives. Mm-hmm. Now, I know you don't like reading the bold print in the various court forms that you serve on respondents or the restrained person. Yeah. But uh, the petitioner could not serve this by mail or publication. Yeah. <laughs> See, you didn't mail it to me. No, you didn't put it in publication. Mm -mm. Petitioner shall make private arrangements for the service of this order. Uh, you didn't mark that box. Right. So the individual wasn't a sheriff and didn't have the legal right to serve me this. Yes. And sure didn't have the legal right to serve me the weapon surrender form. Yeah. Because in bold print it says that only law enforcement can serve an individual. Yes. The weapon surrender form. Oh. Now I'm wanting to use that judicial system of the United States today and... <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm being obstructed from spending money on my family because you don't want me to sue you. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, the idea of the respondent appeared and was informed of this order by the court further service is not required. Yeah. When you don't actually serve the respondent, you have no proof of service. Right. There was no notice or opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. It violates the uh, the opportunity, right? <laughs> the availability, yes, <laughs> of being able to mark that box. <laughs> now I'm going to sue you for that one too, because when you say that you attempted service on me twice during the 48 days of issuing the protection order, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. and you did know who I was. <laughs> Uh, there is the availability of suing you for the obstruction, yes, of me appearing in court, ah! so that you could mark that little box that the respondent appeared in court. Oh, <laughs> see, it's somewhat important because on both the front pages of the weapon surrender form and the protection order, yes, it does, uh, you have to be able to say that the respondent did receive notice of the court hearing, mm -hmm. did have the availability of the opportunity of being heard. Yeah. And um, the appearance means that I would have been informed of the order by the court. Yes. Now, there would have been no additional service needed so that the private individual could have served me. Yeah. <laughs> The weapon surrender form, yes, and that happens to be against the law, yes, as in it's a huge crime. <laughs> now, I'm just wanting to sue you today, and if you could, yes, remove this. See, I was looking at my responsibilities as the respondent. Mm -hmm. It says here you can be arrested even if the person or persons, yes, who obtained the order invite or allow you to violate the order's prohibitions. <laughs> But without the acknowledgement and consent of the petitioner, yes, when she alleged that I did violate the order's prohibitions, yeah, <laughs> Squim Washington, huh? you know, I think it actually violates the disclaimer, yes, in bold print to myself. <laughs> now, I would need an attorney on this one, but how can you violate the order's prohibitions, yes, without the acknowledgement of the petitioner? Yeah. <laughs> And how could you say you violated the order's prohibitions, yes, without being in the city of the alleged violations of the order's prohibitions? Yeah. And considering Jefferson... Golly, 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 right now, golly, right now, right now.